Hello and welcome. In this tutorial we will be covering how to create a material function that lets you select different UV channels in a single material from a call in an outside blueprint. This is what we're going to be looking over. If I hit B on my keyboard I've got it set to run a sequence that changes the UV channel live. So again that's not a material that's being changed, it's the single material with different UV channels. What you're going to need is I've just copied over the normal material mat 1A from the Pono on Farm Pack and I've just renamed it to have UV channel in it and you're also going to need a mesh imported separately. It could work on just one full mesh We're going to right click, go to materials, and we're going to do a material function. We're going to call this UV channel selector. We are going to have our inputs. So we can just write input function input. Now these need to be a two vector. That's what text coordinates output. And text coordinate is what we use in the material to select the different UVs. We are going to duplicate these for every UV channel that you have. I've just got three. You can uh, make more when you remap your model uh, for in Blender, for example. And we are going to need one more input. And this one will be just a scalar. We're going to call this UV index. We're going to have a priority of zero, which will make it the first pin on the function. And we will call this one UV underscore one. Oh, just UV one. UV two for the priority set of one. UV3 priority set of 2 and we will have this on the bottom three. now the logic that we perform here is going to be done by if statements you are quite limited to the logic you'll notice I can't do greater than or equal to the only thing we have available is an if statement. If I'm just going to collapse these, you will have an input for your a variable, an input for your b variable, and then so each one of these needs to be fulfilled when it's yeah. So if it's a greater than B, it'll return whatever's plugged in here. If A is equal to B, then it'll return this variable, and if A is less than B, it'll return whatever's here. Now to get this to work, I'm just going to leave it disconnected for now, otherwise it throws up errors, like so. We need to set up our index number on each of these sets. So I just need to one you're gonna have one and you're gonna have one. My first index will be zero. So this is our UV index. This is the number that we're going to be putting in. 
it's going to be between 0 and 2 and this is where we see if it is equal to the number and what we want to do is I'm just going to do this to make it cleaner if the input UV index is equal to this index reference it will return our first UV but if it is less and I'm just putting this in here because you have to have something in there you will return the first index now to step through to follow on for our other UV inputs we are going to duplicate this and this will run off here so in the case that A is greater than B so if our UV index is greater than 0 it will run through this if statement we are going to set this to our 1 as this will be our 1 index and this is our second channel it might be a bit more intuitive to call these input 0, input 1 in fact let's change that this was actually meant to go into the equals and we need to call off of our index so again we are taking our index and comparing it to this index value together so if it is equal to 1 it will go it will output this and we will set this to 2 we'll duplicate this equal to as our second and now if it is if it is greater than we're just going to output our original channel this just fills all the channels because they have to be filled and also it um, safeguards you against inputting nothing and if it's less then with these two because you'll notice that if I plug this into here we get errors what we have to do is we need a 2 vector this will never be called because you already checked the whole way that it's not less than but for whatever reason if it did happen to it it's just you're adding a 2 vector to it of 0 just in case I'm just going to duplicate that plug it in here and I forgot to throw in the call for this if so you'll notice the repeating part of the if statement is if it's just greater than B if the index is greater than your index preset then you will so if this one is bigger than this one you will shoot down to the next if and same again save that can close that we need to now go to our material like I said this is just the 
a normal material, open our content drawer and drag in the function that we just made. All of these channels need to be filled, so if we hold down U and click one, two, three, and a text coordinate is how you select a UV channel. We'll just set these through to the different channels. So that's basically channel one, channel two, channel three, but in, in how it sees it is zero, one, two. We are going to plug the zero and a zero, then into the one. This is just keeping the same convention and that way you know what's going on. I can promote to a variable UV index. Save. You'll see it's still working. I'm just going to show this working by the event graph of my character. This is just something I've set up beforehand to demonstrate this actually working. Go to the material that we just made, UV channel, and I'm going to plug it into my create dynamic material instance. And what this is going to do is it will, I'll just go and save that. This is going to create a dynamic material instance, set it to a variable, and then when I press B on the keyboard, it's going to just do a loop through the diff three different channels. I've got a variable set that will, through this logic of this function, it will go from 0, 1, 2, and then reset. Oh, and I just need to change this to UV index and that's the parameter that I'm changing in the material that we've set compile save hit play B and as you can see it is looping through UV channel selection thanks